good morning and welcome to today's video. It's like three degrees, winter is coming. It's Jimmy and Emily's leaving London ride. Everyone was asking me in the comments why they're leaving and where they're going. Find out from them. <laughs> think of my legs since getting back from Australia. I feel kind of okay and then start doing a hard effort and completely wrecked and we've only been going an hour and I feel like I need to eat another whole meal like I bonk really quickly. I guess your metabolism raised for a few days after a multi-day event like that. So yeah just about coping. You're, you're late to your own leaving thing. I mean we're not. Yeah you are. Two minutes. Nah no you haven't. Really? You're late. Hello. Hey. Late? I can't be late. There's no time in my yeah. bubble. What's that There's mean? no time. What's that mean? You've no, chosen a... Really it's closed. Oh, I want my money back. We purposely yeah, did this an hour later as well because they weren't open until now but they're still not open. I think we just have to call off the ride and we'll just hang out at a coffee shop somewhere else. I think so, yeah. You know everyone's so concerned about you guys leaving. Are they? Yeah, and they want to know where you're going and I keep saying up north because I don't actually know. <laughs> We are moving to, I think it's technically County Durham, but it's like eight miles outside of Newcastle, which is kind of like near where I grew up. The roads are going to be so much better. Oh my God, oh, you need to come up. It's so good. There's, we will. There's a lot of um, gravel paths, so like the northeast, because it was a load of old mining villages. There's like um, these old train lines that used to transport the coal and they've turned them all into like miles and miles of gravel paths. So that's a good way to get around the, just the roads. I mean, you did it when you did the um, Fella Nord Recce, but yeah, it was amazing. It's incredible, and that's yeah. why you got a gravel bike. Yeah, so well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I need to sell one of my road bikes, which I am selling, and then yeah, got a gravel bike instead now. Oh, amazing! Yeah, I'll come visit you. Yes, you Definitely. should, please. Yes. <laughs> so I've just ridden an hour and a half to get here, and now we're going to do 100k, and then I've got to ride an hour and a half home. It's quite a big day. At least it's not going to be headwind the whole way. You hope. <laughs> hey! Where's the bun and beer? The, the bun is ill. That's why there hasn't been a vlog. Oh, but... season two starts in about a week. Is this new? Yeah, new one. Yeah, my other one broke. You look like a ninja. I am a ninja. How can we get out of riding bikes this ride? If you ride a bike. I've got a, a potential double puncture, I think. Oh. I, I, think, I, I think I have as well, yeah. I think I've got a slow puncture. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> You're like one of those snapping tortoises. Hungry, <laughs> though. Oh. Sorry, did that <laughs> spin out through Essex which is roads that I never usually come to like up south London these guys are pretty much east so in order to do a ride like this you've got to ride all the way through London first and then get out to the lanes and then before you know it you've ridden six hours That's too much really I'm lazy man I'm lazy purely social today a nice farewell to Jimmy and Emily because they're uh, gonna be going a long long way away it's kind of sad you recovered from your old fashions yet oh no man I'm hanging yeah that was hard I wouldn't even call them old fashioned by the end of the night. It was just an excuse to drink whiskey. <laughs> whiskey with sugar in it. Whiskey with a bit of sugar and some orange. <laughs> oh, look at that. Whoa. You got enough tea there? Yeah. Hey, yours is better than mine. I have that one then. Why does it taste better? <laughs> what? Why are, you, why are you eating hers? <laughs> I'm going to miss you. But, how, but are you going to come see us? Yeah. And then we'll come see you. Yeah. I don't think so I'm going to miss you because I just need to go onto YouTube slash Francis CCC. <laughs> Link below. <laughs> They're already on my YouTube channel. But they might and that's not, know not how the name on my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, they had like 12 C's after. <laughs> it used to though, didn't it? Before you were big time. No. Before you had like a proper like <laughs> URL did. Who have we been watching? Old Francis. Evil Francis. You know like Luigi and Waluigi. <laughs> but how do you know if you're the good one or the evil one? <laughs> Ooh. I might actually sit on the front now because it's cold. Winter is 100% here. <sighs> At least we're fed now. How are you alive in shorts? Good question. I, am I still alive? <laughs> <laughs> this kid is absolutely smashing it on his mountain bike to stay at our speed. <laughs> <laughs> so naturally, ride back has turned into a bit of a smash fest. We've split apart, we lost loads of people. And I think we might have gone the wrong way. No one's really got the route. I mean, how wrong can we really go? We just got to head towards London. And there's still eight of us. We can still sit on and get a draft on the back. 
call somebody now Don't know how to work this out People on TV Well, that was chaos. See. We're just riding back into London now. Back on track, back on the route. You spend quite a lot of time getting out of London when you're going out towards Essex. I imagine this ride on a weekday, pretty much a write-off. I know a lot of people who ride outside of London don't really realise the scale of it. You're riding for like 45 minutes, maybe more, to get onto what would be deemed an acceptable road. AJ was shocked because he lives proper nice roads up north. I guess that's why Jimmy and Emily are leaving. Oh, my brakes don't work. I'm doing the vlog. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fun. You're doing a good job, that's some quality bumping. But I feel like maybe you, you It always looks so suspect, doesn't it? <laughs> Just from behind, it was like... There's no way you can do this if it doesn't look right. You've still got a track pump on there, don't you? Oh, yeah, cool. Not one. Obviously. You can get it. You can do that stupid, like, uh, looks like he's having a wank kind of thing, aren't you? <laughs> Everyone sees and they're like, oh, it's that thing. Just bumping up the bike tire. I like this. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's keeping my head warm. No, I like your hat. I like your head. I don't care about the hat, but the shape of your head, what a hat is on, is just lovely. <laughs> How did you get changed so fast? Funny thing is, I came, I went a long way back as well. I actually wore this on the ride. No rules. Just Jimmy. starting cut because I was in a bit of a rush to leave because I don't have any lights on me. I'm now about 80% of the way home, still don't have any lights on me. Probably should just about make it. Not ideal, but I guess you always get caught out early winter. So just about made it home before it got really, really dark. Really good to say a proper goodbye to Jimmy and Emily. Won't be the last you see of them in these videos for sure. We'll be heading up north. Good excuse to ride some better roads than the ones around here. Now on that ride, I met for the first time properly Ash Beach. Some of you guys will already know about him. He's got his own YouTube channel. He does a lot of stuff on Zwift, but it's very performance based. And he essentially has legally blood doped and developed a huge knowledge in improving the quality of your blood to increase performance. Now we were having a chat on the ride and we both thought it would be a good idea to do a bit of a collaboration. He may well be the first guest in the new studio. So if you want to check out his channel, I'll put the link down below. I thoroughly recommend it. And if you have any performance related questions, in his words, he's become a huge nerd when it's come to performance based science. Put them in the comments down below. He set himself a personal challenge to see how high he could get his FTP, managed to get it to five watts per kilo and documented the whole thing on YouTube as well. Anyway, Thought it might be a pretty cool collaboration. Let me know what you think. Right, Lawrence is gonna be around in a minute with his car, because we've got some moving to do. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.